Very few would dare to enter the Prince of Murder's realm of their own choosing. Your action consists of equal parts bravery and stupidity. I think in this case, that's exactly what we need. We've been waiting for you, Planewalker. You may refer to me as the groundskeeper, one of the few survivors that remain. I tend to this city. The magic that protects these walls and keeps us safe requires constant nurturing and the utmost care. The city's original name no longer matters. Now it is a hollow city, waiting to be filled. A perfect place to begin an assault on Molagbal. This city can be your armor against the hazards of Cold Harbor. It just needs life to return it to glory. It could be. There is no safer place in Cold Harbor, for Molag Baal's reach cannot extend into the Hollow City. That is what was intended, and that is the way it is. Please walk with me. Let me show you why this city will serve your needs. Watch and listen. While I could explain things to you, it will be better to simply show you. The history of the city permeates these streets, and with a bit of magic, I can reveal it to you. Now come, let us walk. Long ago, this city existed in Nern. It was alive and vibrant, and went by a different name. Its people were devoted to Prince Meridia, the Radiant One. They lived in peace, and assumed themselves safe from any dangers. But Meridia has enemies, such as the despicable Molag Baal. The Prince of Murder sent minions from Cold Harbor to destroy her beloved city. The city's defenders did what they could, but they were no match for Molag Baal's forces. Everyone outside the walls was slaughtered, but the warriors and mages managed to seal the gates to protect those huddled within. As fortune would have it, the Aeliad King Lalorian Dinar was visiting the city. A skilled warrior and tactician, he quickly took command of the city's defenses. The Aeliad King single-handedly protected one of the gates. As he fought, he prayed for assistance, and his prayers were answered. Meridia felt compassion for her followers. But she also saw an opportunity. Molag Baal's open portal worked both ways. The time had come to take the battle to Cold Harbor. Meridia warded the city and pushed it into Cold Harbor. The city arrived intact, but many of its inhabitants were either killed or scattered by this realm's protective spells. Even the Aeliad King was captured. Still, Meridia had accomplished the impossible. She stabbed a dagger into Molag Baal's side. A portion of her realm was in his domain, 
and he could not touch it. The survivors lost faith, however. One by one, they left the safe confines of the city to try to return to Nur. They were foolish, and they paid the price for rejecting Meridia's edicts. Meridia foresaw a day when an opportunity would arise. An overconfident Molag Ball. Champions from another plane. On that day, this city would become the focal point for the assault against the Lord of Schemes. I say that the day has finally arrived. The great mage, Vanna Scalarian, the Aeliad King, and you, our last best hope. You must gather your allies and bring them here. This city shall serve you well against Molag Ball. Know that every choice you make in Cold Harbor will have an effect on the Hollow City. It shall be reborn with every person you save, forged into a weapon by your own hands. I am your advisor. We both wish to stop Molag Ball's machinations. I offer you what help I can. The Hollow City awaits you and your allies. Use it wisely, and it shall not fail you. You must gather those who were lost. King Dinar and Vanus Galarian have vital roles to play, and they must be at your side. Rescue your missing companions. Return the Hollow City to its former glory, and we can begin the assault on Molag Ball. You shall require more than just the king and the mage, of course. But they are as good a starting point as any. Others in this realm, allies current and soon to be, all have important parts to play in this endeavor. As you seek out the mage and the king, I'm sure you shall meet others who require your aid. Look for those you trust and who would be willing to join us here. Go west, beyond the Moonless Walk. There you shall find the Aeliad King, held within a Tower of Darkness. Vanus the Mage is somewhere in the Eastern Plain. His exact location is hidden from me. I recommend heading west first to find the Aeliad King, but the choice is yours. If you wish to free King Dinar, you must recover the Lights of Meridia. The Lights have the power to unlock his Prison of Darkness. Originally, the Lights were a gift from Meridia. Power that protected the city and made life easier for its inhabitants. When she pushed the city into Cold Harbor, she filled the Lights with even more of her divine power. King Dinah is trapped within a Tower of Darkness, bound by shadows and dark magic. Meridia's lights can unravel those bonds. Without them, you won't be able to set the Aeliad King free. As you no doubt noticed, Morlog Ball's realm has its own defenses. Things that teleport onto this plane tend to get scattered. As were your allies. As were the lights. They could be anywhere, but most likely, they are guarded by Morlog Baal's forces. Rumors only, I'm afraid. I have heard tales of a strange prison to the northwest. A tower that is not a tower. That guards one of the lights and others whisper of a vile laboratory to the southeast that distorts the purity of Meridia's light.
This one and his beloved mate sought shelter, but there was none to be found. Urnabi, she didn't make it. Now I lack the will to go on. Our children will grow up without parents. They will be poor and destitute, and probably die young and alone. This one and his mate, we lost our way one night. We followed a light in the forest and wound up in this depressing place. We took shelter in a cave to the northeast, but that didn't work out so well. Especially not for poor Ernabi. We were attacked by Milokilo and his monsters as soon as we set foot in the cave. This one and poor Ernabi fought our way out and eventually escaped into the wastes. This one's beloved Ernabi was wounded in the escape. She died before we could reach safety and find a healer. This one's claws will never be sharp again.
this, sir. You can come out and see in a moment. So, someone has come to help us at last. We're out here in the middle of Cold Harbor, and that's the best question you can come up with? I am most definitely not talking to myself. I am speaking to the alchemist. Be quiet, you mangy cat. I can't hear myself think with all that racket. Patience, sir. I'll explain everything. I am with the Mages Guild. We stepped through the portal and wound up in this vile laboratory. Daedra experimented on us. They merged our two souls. Now we're wasting away as this soul meld kills us. Ah, to see out of Kajita eyes again. The it's being caged in that dark place. Yes, this one is pretty famous. Perhaps you have heard of Zer. But Zer must tell you, this soul meld is killing us. Will you help us? Will you unmeld our souls? Unmeld is so to a word. Pardon, the dwarven device that calls this is inside the laboratory. But Robo blocks the way. Collect Zer's notes and a bottle of pearl tincture. With those, this one can make a potion that will get you past the rubble. Questions are good. Ask and ask again. That is the systematic method of experimentation. Remember that you must know the rules before you can successfully break them. Their specialty is transmutation. Change one thing into another. So. Not too difficult to change you from large to small. Then you can slip past the obstacles that block the entrance. Zer never said it would be easy, Dark Elf. Mind your tongue. Unfortunately, no. The soul melt weakens us, and we must conserve our strength. With the recipe and the ingredients, this one can make a transmutation potion and exert almost no energy whatsoever. A eh, much better approach at this time, yes? Oh yes, we came to defeat the evil Moloch Ball. Or was it uh, Mene Marco? Zer forgets. So many bad things start with the letter M. But something went wrong and Godress and this one ended up here. That's when the Daedra melted our souls. You have no idea what it feels like to have a Khajiit scratching around inside your head. I know you said you were sorry, but the question has been asked. One of us is disorganized and enjoys experimenting with dwarfen machinery. The resulting explosion reduced the entryway to a pile of rubble and sent our supplies in all directions. Safe enough. We'll make our way to the entryway. We can manage a simple illusion to mask our presence. I wish we weren't so weak, however. I never realized. I never realized how my ability to perform magic defined me. Now that I cannot do the things that once came so easily to me, I almost don't know who I am. Having a talking cat inside my head doesn't help much either. A few of us arrived together, but only the Alchemist and I survived the experiments. Zer's explosion had one desirable side effect. It destroyed our Dremora captors. We have information vital to the Mages' Guild, should we escape this predicament.
one used an illusion spell. Very little effort. It is good to be out and about. Ah, Cold Harbor is an inhospitable place, but this one is adaptable. Zer thought this was where he left the tincture, so I came to investigate. Don't tell Gadras that Zer was here. A simple illusion spell protected me, but Godris gets worried. Me? I like to explore. This one has always enjoyed trying new and different things, but this situation, it is very strange, very awkward. Is that thought me, sir? Or me, Godris? This one can never be certain where his thoughts end, and Godris's begin. Very confusing, yes? Told you our friend would find the scatters. You worry too much. Godris is upset because we had to hide behind some rocks. Undignified, he said. Well, Zer says that being eaten by a deformed creature is even more undignified. Quiet, Godris. This one knows what he's doing. This is most fragrant work, my friend. Most fragrant. Zer shall draft the potion immediately. It should make you slightly smaller. Certainly small enough to squeeze through the rubble. Long enough to slip into the laboratory. A few minutes, uh, give or take. Now, let Zer think. Was it uh, six or seven drops of tincture? Zer thinks he saw some dried skate crow over here. Ah, yes, here it is. Ah, Zer's finest potion yet. You will drink it now, yes? This grows more taxing by the hour. Here is the potion. I hope Zer didn't cut any corners, but knowing him, it probably tastes terrible. Yes, sir. I'll be sure to mention it. I am not a mixer of potions, and I don't want to debate the merits of alchemy with Zer again. But the cat knows what he's doing. Inside, look for my notebook. It lists what you need to craft the antipodal rods. Rods that will reverse the soul meld. Just find the components and craft the rods. We will try to recuperate and regain enough strength to teleport ourselves inside. If you have questions, please ask them before you drink the potion. Find the metallurgy workshop. My notebook should be there, placed neatly on a workbench. It contains a list of what you need to create the antipodal rods. Gather the items and craft the rods. Oh. Very well. Zer reminds me the time is short, so I will try to be brief. 
The rods form two opposing forces that should create a negative energy vortex. In theory, the vortex will unlink the strands that bind our souls and set us free. It shouldn't be a problem. The laboratory has a forge. Just follow the directions and apply the proper catalyst. The rods should be able to withstand the reversal process. After you forge the rods, meet me by the overseer's atelier. The potion will work, you'll see. And know that I am grateful for your help. We both are.
ever weaken. The hate standing in the green goo. No amount of licking gets it out of one's fur. Godris worries so much. He wanted to make sure you found the catalyst. The catalyst makes the rod strong enough to withstand both magicka and machinery. Two things this one likes very much. The basic ingredients can be melted, but without a catalyst to imbue them with strength and add an intel. Alchemy is not boring, Godris. Ah, oh, very well. Godris wrote about a proper catalyst for the antipodal rods. He wants you to read his notes. After the soul meld, the Overseer ignored us. The Dwarven constructs were inactive, so we were able to work here in relative peace. Yes, Godris, everything was fine until Zer exploded something. The Dark Elf sure knows how to hold a grudge. Many things. The last one was pretty spectacular. It was an accident, of course. Godris was so mad because we were forced outside, but it proved his first suggestion for a catalyst didn't work. So, the experiment was successful. Constructs have moved away from the forge. All this skulking around, using up valuable energy on apprentice level illusions. I grow ever more weary. Even Zer's enthusiasm is ebbing. I'm afraid to hope too much. But you've made such progress. Perhaps we shall end this torment after all. The constructs have moved off. The forge area is clear, at least for the moment. Melt the components in the furnace. 
Then craft two rods from the mixture. There is an anvil near the furnace. Be careful, though. The mixture can be volatile. The machine that merged us is further on in the Overseer's Atelier. We'll meet there. Teleportation was never this difficult before. The spell took so much out of me, I was afraid we would never materialize. But Zer has the key to this room. He acquired it shortly after we'd got here. 
Were you able to craft the antipodal rods? We are so close. You need to use the rods to activate the dwarven device that performed the soul meld. Oh, and the crystal. I'm getting as careless as Zur. Uh, look for a glowing crystal. The Overseer placed it in the machine to power the device. Ah, well, in a manner of speaking, understand that Zur and I do not have two separate bodies to return to. But if this works, the soul meld won't kill the both of us. The magic will separate the intertwined strands of our souls, but only one of us will survive the process. Do not be dismayed. We rejoice at a chance for one of us to survive. Go on ahead. We will meet you inside momentarily. Stop shouting, Zer. What? Oh yes, of course. No, you're right. Zer reminds me that you have been most helpful and we need to rest anyway. So I decided not to cut you off with a snide retort. Please accept my apologies and ask your questions. Based on our own experience, it appears that merging two souls into one vessel causes an internal storm as the souls vie for control. It takes all of our mental fortitude to maintain our individual personalities. Then nature takes its course, but at least we will have tried to beat this. At least one of us has a chance to survive, and know that however this ends, I am grateful for the aid you have provided us. If the device works the way I expect, then the person operating it will decide which of our souls survives the reversal process, and which is discarded. I guess it will be up to you to choose who lives and who dies. Well, I could make a strong case as to why I should be the one to survive. My qualifications, my experience, my worth to the Mages Guild. But the truth is, I have grown fond of Zer. My right to survive is no greater than his. I cannot advise you. The Overseer's in there. He put us into this Dwarven machine. He's dangerous. Do not worry. This one is not afraid. The process can be reversed. Our research tells us this. There is optimistic. And if I die, then it is just on to another adventure, yes? We are very different. Zer has learned much sharing a dark elf's mind. Few Kashit experience such a wonder, yes? Godress will do many great things, provided the unmelting works. And so will Zer. But this one would never choose himself over another. Some theoretical extrapolations are what Godress excels at, and this one's experiments support his research. We believe the device can be forced to unmeld our souls. In any event, we won't survive the soul meld. At the very least, we must try. What's that? Yes, Zer will pass that along. Now, quiet, please. The Overseer's in there. He put us into this dwarven machine. He's dangerous. Many of the constructs that roam this place are under his control. Godress recommends killing him quickly.
more mortal blood. And what experiment shall I subject you to, I wonder? I wasn't sure the illusion would last long enough to make it across the chamber, but it did. As the end approaches, this one must admit that he will miss our time together. This one can't believe you crossed this chamber without so much as an illusion to mask your presence. You are so brave. This one, there's whiskers were twitching inside the Dark Elf's head. Next comes the exciting part. You test our theory. See those two pillars? One represents Zer, the other Gadris. Insert the antipodal rods and turn on the device. If it works, you should be able to separate our melted souls. Yes, as we have explained, one body, one soul. At least one of us will survive to help the mages guild. This one knows you will make the right decision. Place the crystal into the machine. Then insert an antipodal rod into each pillar to start the unmelding process. Essence is being shredded. Why do you ask such meaningless questions? We cannot hold together much longer. You need to finish this. Choose one of us and pull a lever, please. And may the sun beneath your paws always be warm, my friend. I think it's working. I can feel the soul meld unraveling. I can, though your voice is distant, muted. Please, pull a lever and finish this process. This needs to end one way or another. No matter who you choose, you have my gratitude. Ancestors bless you, my friend. I'm grateful that you chose to save me. Still, I I feel a bit lost. I wish... I wish Zer was still here. I'm not sure if I will ever be all right. But I live. I'm ashamed that I thought Zer was silly and scatterbrained. My time melded to him taught me so much. Zer had... 
good soul? I believe that the crystal powering the device is one of the fabled lights of Meridia. Grab the crystal and meet me outside. You should be able to open the exit door. With my strength returning, I can teleport myself to a safe place. Thank you again for your help for choosing me, but I wish that both Zer and I could have been saved. During our time together, Zer and I determined that the Dwemer device has similarities to the method Molag Baal uses to perform the plane meld. I will honor Zer's memory and give him credit for this discovery. Thank you again, friend, for saving us. Now that my strength has returned, I can open a portal to the Hollow City. This portal will only remain open for a few minutes. I hope to see you again in the Hollow City. <laughs> 